Transfigure us, O Lord, transfigure us, O Lord. Break the chains that bind us, speak your healing word, and where you lead we'll follow. Transfigure us, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Brothers and sisters, today we're celebrating the second Sunday of Lent. In today's gospel, we encounter the transfiguration of Jesus. Knowing our own need for transformation, we ought for God, we ask for God's healing and forgiveness for the times we have sinned. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O oh God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God took Abram outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abram put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as a possession. O oh Lord God, he asked, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He answered him, bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Abram brought him all these, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other, but the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abram, and a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set and it was dark, there appeared a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up the mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance, and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his exodus that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They fell silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have to come and realize one of the things. How do I look at God? I have to know who God is to me, personally. We have to know that God is a father, and as a father, he loves us. And as a father, he wants what is best for every single one of us. But at the same time, we are ungrateful children who we think that sometimes our ways are better than his. A lot of parents who have teenagers, you probably know this, you give the best advice to your kids, but then they go and do something else because they think they know best, isn't it? But this is a lot of us with God. God teaches us, God gives us his laws, his prophets to guide us, teach us, to bring us closer to his love. But a lot of the times we're like the rebel teenagers. No, God, thank you. I prefer my ways. I prefer, I know best. We do that at times, don't we? Many times throughout our life. But then we have to come and know God has given me his laws. God has given us his commandments. He has given us all his prophets because of love for us. He wants us to bring, uh, to, he wants our salvation. He wants to bring us closer to him. And once we come and realize that, that is one, once I get transformed, my life gets transformed, and I come to see Moses and Elijah as great leaders of God, his laws and his prophets. I take them into my heart. 
not because God obeyed, God commanded me, not because of obedience, not because this is what I'm supposed to do, but because of love. I recognize that all of this was given to me by God's love. So out of that same love, I love back what God has given me. Because if we take it as something that is being forced on us, we're going to get tired of it, isn't it? We do. And that is when we become rebels. But we have to change our mind and know and come to know God his love for us, how his love is expressed through his laws, through his prophets, in order to bring us to salvation. And out of that love, I can say, God, I want to love you back with all my heart, with all my mind, and with my whole self. I want to become obedient to you, to your teachings, out of love out of love that guides our life. Amen? Amen. 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 And now we will stand together and profess the faith of, of our church. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Suffer under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He descended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Paul urges us today to stand firm in the Lord. We do so by bringing God our prayers and petitions. That the church may facilitate and sustain interreligious and ecumenical dialogue to promote the greater glory of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are in positions of social power may use their privilege to lift up people who are hurting and excluded. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our local community may listen to the voice of God and always treat others as God's beloved. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, for those who suffer during these trying times, and for all the personal mass intentions we bring before the Lord in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, help us continue to grow in relationship with you and others through our words and actions, knowing that you alone are the light and life of this world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivity, festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, George Lee, our Bishop, his assistant Gregory, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all those saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of God's love and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, oh, oh. 
Let us pray. Bless as we receive these glorious mysteries, we may thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Bow down for the blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever, and keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.